Hello, welcome to the uh, discussion on geodesics in a particular surface. So uh, let me just uh, explain what we are trying to do here. Um, we are interested in something called geodesic, which is basically the shortest path between two points on a surface. So this is a crude definition, of course. Uh, the question is that how can we visualize geodesics? So uh, geodesics can be quite tricky. Uh, let's start with a very simple example. Let's work with just a plane. How about the minimum distance or the shortest distance between two points on a plane? So if I pick two points on the plane, suppose A and B, uh, you can see the coordinates of A and B here. Uh, the z, z coordinate of both a and b are zero so basically both a and b are on this plane on this x y plane now the shortest distance or the path shortest path from a to b is something that we understand very intuitively we know what the shortest path between a and b is it is just a straight segment uh, connecting these two points so I can really draw the straight segment so this happens to be the shortest path or shortest a path of shortest distance from A to B on the plane geodesics are just our familiar straight lines but how what about other types of surfaces so in this particular discussion we will talk about uh, surface of a sphere. So let me first draw a sphere. So we have x square plus y square plus z square equals to 1. So we have a sphere. The name of the sphere is A in the left hand panel. You can see the name of the sphere. And we have this sphere that we want to work with. Understand that we will be working with just the skin of the sphere. That is, we will stay on the surface of the sphere. We don't want to go inside the sphere. Uh, let me remove these existing points and this segment as well. Okay, we're just interested in the sphere. So first, let's plug in two points on the sphere, on the surface of the sphere. Uh, let's suppose this is C and this is and D. So these two points C and D are on the surface of the sphere and we want to find out the shortest path from C to D. Uh, understand that you want to stay on the surface of the sphere when you are going from C to D. Uh, if you are allowed to go inside the sphere then of course you can join just the segment C D but then you wouldn't stay on the skin of the sphere. So if I just join the segment uh, C and D then certainly I am inside the sphere I'm not on the surface of the sphere so this is not what I'm interested in I'm interested in a path from C to D which is the shortest path of course and if, and it is um, on the surface of the sphere so uh, let me give you a construction how to do it First, uh, draw the center of the sphere, which is of course inside it. So let's call it O. So I think you can see the center of the sphere. It's sort of transparent, this picture in this picture. Now let's join OCD. So let's join the segment or let's draw the plane passing through the point O. C and D. So we basically uh, draw the plane that passes through the center of the sphere and the two points on its surface. The question is what is the curve along which this plane passing through the center of the sphere and the two points on the surface cuts the sphere itself. So we are interested in the curve along which this particular plane 
cuts the sphere. Uh, so we will again use this intersection tool. So intersect, you want to intersect two objects. One of them is the plane, which is B, and the other one is the sphere, which is A. So you can see this yellow line or the curve that is the point, the line of intersection or sort of the circle of intersection of the plane and the sphere. So this is something called a great circle. A great circle is a circle that has the center of the sphere as its own center and the radius of the sphere as its radius. So it is a great circle passing through the point C and D. Now look at the segment or the arc of the great circle connecting CD. One can show there can be a rigorous proof that this particular arc CD, the one that is connecting CD, the smaller arc that is connecting CD and on this yellow circle, that is in fact the shortest path uh, on the surface of the sphere. And uh, the curves of shortest path are sometimes called geodesics or the straight lines. So on the surface of the sphere, the great circles are indeed the straight lines. So, of course, we cannot prove that fact uh, in this particular discussion, but this was more of an intuitive uh, introduction to how can you think of shortest paths on the skin or the surface of a sphere. Uh, one direct consequence is this, that if you pick another point um, let's pick another point on the surface of the sphere. Let's suppose let's call it E. And uh, notice that any line that is or any geodesic that is passing through this point E, this third point E, will also be by definition a great circle. Now, if it is a great circle, then it will certainly cut this other great circle that we already have through CD. So the other great circle which is already which we already have through CD, any great circle through E must, must intersect that, that one. So if we understand straight lines as these great circles, then there are no such great circle or no such straight line passing through E, which will never meet this yellow one, which basically means that on the surface of a sphere, uh, there are no parallel lines to a given line, which is in direct contradiction to Euclid's parallel axiom. Um, we rushed through the last part a little bit. If you have heard about uh, parallel axiom and if you have heard about uh, play fair axiom, you probably understand some of the things that I said. But the key takeaway from this discussion was the another way of looking at straight lines and that is using the notion of distance. That is the shortest path connecting two straight lines, two, two points on a particular surface. Um, thank you for watching. Enjoy geometry.